Hi there, I hope you're all doing well. I am back with another 3D printed miniature. This time it is Rompu, the troll drummer by Artisan Guild. It was primed in desert sands and I started off with bloody red for all of the skin. I'm going for sort of an orange skin tone on this one as it's going to be a full band of them and I don't want them all to be green. So I'm going to mix it up a bit and do some blue colours and greens and bits. But this guy is the orange one. This mini was chosen on my Discord to be this week's video. I'm going to be changing the way I do the voting though. So instead of voting for a new mini every week, the vote is going to run over the course of the month and it will be the first video of the following month. These videos won't be any from any sort of brand or specific thing. It will just be whatever is voted for or recommended and anything else I sort of throw into the list as well that people can choose. If you want to help decide which video to do or suggest any sort of ideas that you have or just want to share any work you um, have been working on, there's a link below to the Discord server. If you have any questions or want to just chat and hang out, I do also stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at around 8pm UK time. Next, I used ultramarine blue to do his hair. To do his clothing and the ropes hanging around him, I used leather brown. For the drums I grabbed Charles Brown to sort of help them stand out a bit more against the rest of the mini. Now for the first highlight of the skin with Mythical Orange. This is covering the majority of the skin, just leaving that bloody red in the recesses to add a bit more shadow. When this goes on though, it looks very, very orange, but like most colors, it dries a bit darker and semi-translucent, so it blends a lot nicer.
I then took magic blue to do a highlight on the hair, just picking out the raised areas and the top part. For the first layer of the bones I used Banshee Brown, this is covering all of the bones, teeth and nails around the model. Next I done another highlight on this skin with Fire Lizard. This is much more of a yellow orange so it is only for the, the sort of upper areas where the light will be reflecting off of him. To finish up the base colours I grabbed Scruffless Brown, this is for the banding on the drums and the straps around the bones.
The next highlight on the bones is bone white, covering the majority, just leaving that banshee brown in the recesses and the lower areas where the shadow will be. And I'll do a quick extra highlight with moon yellow for the eyes and some of the very tips of the skin. But I try not to go over the top as this is a very yellow and I don't want him to look yellow. The final highlight for all of the bones and teeth is elfic flesh, covering just the very tips and the areas directly facing the light source. To finish up before the wash goes on, I done the base and the eyes with matte black. Now for the wash I used strong tone over the entire mini apart from the skin and the hair. I was originally going to do a red tone on the skin but opted not to as I think it would just take too much of the orange away and it would look more red at that point. And that will be it for Rumpu the Drummer. This is the first part of the entire band I'm going to be painting up just because I want a troll band to rock up in the campaign. But also if you want to get this mini it's part of the welcome pack for Artisans Guild. So you can sign up to their Patreon and you will always get the welcome pack no matter what actual theme there is on. But if you have a 3D printer I highly recommend it. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also help me decide on video ideas or share what you've been working on using the Discord in the link below. As always, there will be photos of this mini on my Instagram pages. If you want to just chat and hang out, you can stop by my Twitch stream where I will stream Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays around 8pm UK time. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and most importantly, don't forget to be kind to each other.